me doll in a box and welcome back to another video today is going to be a pretty big video because we are making another doll diorama Moving on with this video this video is a collab with rudy's miniatures i'll link her channel and instagram down below you guys should definitely check her out we are both making diy doll dioramas so let's go on with the craft also don't forget to subscribe like share and comment down below now let's get on with it. i do have a doll room here and then i also have another one here so i am combining two doll rooms together now my plan is that on this wall I want to have a door and this wall is going to be scrapbook paper which is going to be like a newspaper style because I want this room to be like a rustic like old style and then on this wall I'm going to put like a big bay window so yeah and on the floor I'm going to be using this dark wood print and then for the walls I'm going to be using this like newspaper sort of print and I think they look pretty rustic so yeah and for the door wall and the window wall I'm just going to be keeping it so what I'm going to do is probably just draw out the window here and cut this out and then do the same for the door on this wall so as you can see, I cut the hole out for the window and now I just cut out some clear pieces of plastic packaging to do on the window. So I'm just going to glue them down with hot glue and then in the middle put a strip of foam board to cover up that mark so I had to put two pieces together. As you can see, um, I've glued down the window and I've also used these foam board strips that I just cut out and I've glued them all around the outside just to make it look a little bit more neater and I glued one in the middle to cover up that cut because I had to put two pieces together to fit it. But if you have one big piece, then you don't really need this. Um, well, it kind of depends because you might want to do a cool design, but this is what I'm doing. As you can see, I have the door cut out here and around the edges, I just put some paper over it to cover up like the raw edges. And with the door cut out, so this is the cut out that I cut out from the door. I'm just covering this with paper on both sides. I just want to say yes, um, I did accidentally cut myself and it's wet because I just washed my hands. So anyway, let's continue. So I finished covering the door with paper and I added some more details with some more paper. And then I used this wooden skewer and I stuck it through the door and then I put beads on either side to make a little door. Now, the window and the door done. It's time to reassemble the rooms and do the wallpaper and so I just put the room together. It's the same size room as the coffee shop. So if you're a little bit confused on how I put it together, make sure to go check out that video. It'll explain it more clearly. So I just glued um, the scrap of paper onto the walls with some normal glue stick and obviously there's this space at the bottom but honestly I don't mind it I feel like it looks kind of cool and the full floor the same I just used a glue stick to glue down this um wood fl um, floor paper <laughs> and then for the door it's the same um door DIY method that I use for the coffee shop so again if you want a more in-depth tutorial on making a DIY doll door I can leave a link to the coffee shop video down below so make sure to go check that out and I did the same thing with the handle here and the door does really work and then I just did this trim all around the outside. And then we have this other room behind it so that you can't see the rest of my house over the window. Um, I just glued on the two um, clear plastics on. And then I did the same thing with like the foam board to like go around the window to make it look a little bit more neat and a little bit more fancy. currently the entire room. And now it's time to go upstairs and get decorated. It's upstairs and we have the ring light. Before I put all of the furniture in, I want to take a couple of pictures for my Instagram with Kit because this is going to be Kit's new apartment. can see the apartment is now all set up and as you can now see it is Kit's apartment so now let's get on with the short room so tour here is the entrance area as well as the kitchen and the door is a working door and down here these are just these are actually some drawers to like a little a little wooden set which I have and these are some drawers and they have like this cool little, like rustic handle thing here so I thought if I stacked two of them it would be a cool little side table and up here is just a place where she can like hang her face mask and some of her bags and there's also this little key which I got from oh, I, I can't okay <laughs> it's a key that I got from a little lock and oh my god it's not focusing 
There we go. It's a key that I got from a little lock. That's where I get my little keys from. I have two other ones for Brian and Bailey. Then there's this little, um, it's not focusing. There we go. And then we have this little letter, um, a watch. There's also a plant down here, which you can't really see. And it's just a deodorant cap with some fake plants in. Um, and then there's a little picture frame and everything. So that's the sort of entrance so this area. This is the kitchen area. As you can see, there's the fridge, a microwave. Every person needs a microwave. Then there's just some cups and some plates and there's a waffle maker back there. Then there's all her pans and pots and a colander and some tools to use in the kitchen. You can't exactly see, but down here is an oven and then up here is the stove top with an oven mitt and a healthy cookbook from My Free Stuff. So something that I love about this kitchen is the fridge because I put a bunch of stickers on it and it just makes it look so much more homely and realistic. As you can see down here, I just have some more boxes to show that Kit's moving in. And then there's just this wooden box which I got from my local craft shop. And I just made this, um, it's just felt and fabric and I just hot glued it to make a little cushion. Then this is again a My Free Stuff newspaper printable and I thought it would go well with the room because of the wallpaper. Then here are just some pillows, and these pillows have like actual pillows inside, and then there's pillowcases. They're really cute. I can do a tutorial if you guys want to see how I made them. There's also a pair of shoes on the floor. Moving on to the more like sleeping and relaxing. This is quite a small apartment. She does obviously have a kitchen. I'm just going to say the bathroom is somewhere off this way, but the desk area is kind of like where she's going to sit down and eat. This is almost like her mini sofa, but then she also has a giant day bed. So she's probably going to use that as like a sofa. There's this yarn rug on the floor that I made. And then there's this wooden bed. And I actually have two of these beds. It's a bed that looks like this, but it's more detailed because I made it a little bit more into my crafting days. So it's a lot better than the one which I just showed, but it's pretty simple. I got it from my Froggy stuff bed uh day bed so on the bed this is just a pillowcase and it has this cool like design i don't know if you guys can see but it's a very faint cool design this is just a piece of fabric that i cut out and it's like a nice neutral gray color if you're wondering yes this is a real working window so this is just some wood scrapbook paper that i just put down on a piece of foam board just behind it just to you know cover up all the pillows these are just some pillows that i've um sewn and made there's this fluffy one this one with a cool pattern which is the same pattern in brian and bailey's room then there's just a white one and a gray one so it's just a lot of obviously neutral kit is sitting on the bed in the sweatpants that i made and i'm so happy with how they turned out she just got a book a little mug and some work over to the desk area this is the um table and stools that do go with my bay window that i made but i'm currently just going to use them as a desk because my bay window isn't really Really being used right now but this is what the stool looks like and then the desk matches because of the trim and she's just got a little lamp some um, greenery um, some more printouts from my free stuff and that's a little pretty much stuff. the entire apartment so that's yeah. pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed me making this diy doll diorama apartment for kit. don't forget this video is a collab with rudy miniatures a good friend of mine i'll link her youtube and her um instagram down below make sure to go check out her video where she's going to be making a doll room as well she posts really good diy doll clothing tutorials i've made two pairs of jeans from her tutorial they are really simple and really good really easy to follow and it was like my first time making doll jeans and they turned out really good from her tutorial so i would definitely recommend to go check her out if you're looking to make some whoops i just knocked over the stool if you're looking to make some diy doll clothes these are one of the pairs of jeans that i made from her tutorial like look at them they are so cute i'm literally obsessed with them Go check her out right now. I said everything I mentioned in this video will be linked down below if you guys are curious. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, don't forget to leave it a like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. And until then, I'll see y'all next time. Bye!